sports shows have we had now? Oh, we're in 150 plus continuous. There's been many more than that. History going back to old sheepdog trials and one or two others. But the sport and its current guys has been going for about 150 years. It's a, a continuous cycle. One show finishes, you start on the next one. My intention is the show will start to grow. You will never lose the basics of the fell running, wrestling, the hound trailing, uh, etc. But the show has to evolve. This year we put a larger arena in, a second arena, where we had Jester's juggling team in. We were due to have some Jiu Jitsu in there as well. We've got the standard tug of war, but yes, there'll be other things coming in that evolve the show and put more on for people to come and enjoy. The hound trails is, is quite an emotional thing to see, isn't it, when you see the owners shouting the, the hounds back? Oh, it is. The, the, the owners love to win, but I think what's more that than just the owners shouting, as you see here, this is the only race where the hounds leave the arena and come back into the arena. And to see the crowd shouting and clapping as the hounds come in, where else we see people really clapping and getting excited about seeing a dog run into the arena? It is so popular. You're the winner today, are you? Yes, I am. I uh, took so me a lifetime to win the race here. A lifetime. First win in uh, 35 years, and it feels great. Some dogs like this course, and some dogs don't. And it's, it, this dog likes it, but it's never won here, and it feels good. Fabulous day. I mean, the weather is obviously perfect for this sort of event. The sun's out, uh, nice and cool for obviously the competitors. You've always got to think about them. I mean, plenty of people about, and there's been so much going on. It's been wonderful. We've had a visit from a Sea King helicopter. There's just been so much of variety, which has been great. And so many people from all over, all over the country, and even some of the competitors from abroad. Now the wrestling is a huge favourite, isn't it, with the fans? People come from far and wide, don't they? Yes, we have. This year we have the French in. We've got all the Scottish wrestlers come down. And one of the big things this year as well, we've had about 10 junior Scottish wrestlers come down. Uh, so that's big. And there's a possibility that will grow next year. But again, it's the same thing historically that their parents know and have wrestled about is Grasmere. It's a big thing for girls to wrestle as well, isn't it? Yes, locally it's growing, the girls wrestling, the ladies wrestling is growing. And it should do, why can it just be the men? And uh, no, it's good. The only thing that we lack is probably a bit more of the traditional costume, which we try and promote and encourage by giving prizes for the best costume. But it's there, it'll grow. And I'm sure as the years go on, because we're pushing it so hard, we'll get more people appearing in the typical Cumberland Westman wrestling, the white um, tights, the multicolored, the stitched trousers, and the white bodice with all the stitching in. It's good to see. We have Jimmy Pringle in the south ring, please. Jimmy Pringle, where's the hurt? On the way through. Planning begins for next year tomorrow then. It's already started for next year. <laughs> <laughs>